Hi, this is Kendrick Scott, and you're watching First Look. Hello and welcome to First Look. I'm Don Was, the president of Blue Note Records. And our guest today is Kendrick Scott. He's one of the most formidable and in-demand drummers in the world, has performed and recorded with a really wide array of artists, ranging from Pat Metheny and Robert Glasper to Terrence Blanchard and Charles Lloyd. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. But beyond that, He's a highly respected composer and band leader, made five albums with his group Oracle, but his latest release titled Corridors, which is also his third album for the Blue Note label, covers some uh, different musical territory than his previous records. And we're going to discuss that today. Kendrick, thank you for being here, man. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Don. Appreciate you. Corridors is a beautiful album, man. Uh, I I guess you could say that it's bound together by a really unique perspective on the COVID lockdown period. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, for me, it was uh, uh, as I contemplated making art while I was here locked down, I started to think about what everybody's relationship to their um, uh, to their house and how it how those relationships were changing. And for me, I think about this house. I I'm it now. I've been here for 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. Wow. And me and Walter Smith, the third, moved here uh uh in in 2003 for Walter to go to Manhattan School of Music. And now I teach at Manhattan School of Music down the way. <laughs> I just walked there. And uh so we moved in this apartment. And while I was here, I was first of all, it was very creepy because it's a pretty big apartment, and I'm just here by myself. And um thought about just those relationships what what's changing so i was thinking you know some people's in some people's home their uh living room became the church their um kids room became the schoolhouse you know what i mean the garage became the gym thinking about the relationships of how we were all living our lives at that time and and how did that feel for each one of us individually you know kind of starting with my perspective but trying to zoom out a little more than I have uh, before and really try to contemplate what everybody else is feeling. And, you know, I just felt like this was the one time in my history and in the history while in my generation where we can all look to each other and really know how each other is feeling. Nobody could really lie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And Corridors is about that. You know, it's it's about, for me, uh, facing a lot of shadows that I've been uh uh, running from being on the road and being busy and all those things. And, you know, those shadows are here. And, the you know, the sounds of corridors are about that. If you can hear the sound, it's like this huge reverberant sound and you're you're just all alone in there. Uh, and that's that's the vibe. Maybe that's why you stripped the band down to a trio. More more space. Absolutely. The, Absolutely. The, the album's got your uh, longtime collaborator and fellow Blue Note recording artist, Walter Smith III, and the great bassist, Ruben Rogers. And, and it's just a trio this time. Tell us. Yeah, just a trio. Um, as I was thinking of what was taken away from me, uh, my favorite thing in the world is uh, traveling and music and and meeting people and, and being able to share uh, the gift that I have. So, um I started to think about, okay, I want to create uh, records, create some music about this. And I said, you know what? The music has to not only reflect um, uh, sonically and how it's made, what's going on, but I feel like it also has to reflect uh, orchestrationally. And so my favorite things in the world are the piano and the guitar. <laughs> I love harmony. I love uh, <laughs> the sound of harmony. I love the lushness and the emotion that it provides. And so what I wanted to do was um, was take that away. <laughs> I said, OK, uh, travel has been taken away. I'm going to take the, my favorite thing out of the band away. And it opened up some new doors into how I was hearing my, my own music, uh, made me write a little bit differently. And uh, of course, um, I think the beauty of how that works is that you get to hear Ruben Rogers in a way that he's always been doing this but you get to hear all of the features that he does, that he provides, mm -hmm. and uh, the space that I get to have as a drummer to color. And you get to hear Walter in a certain form where it's not uh, covered or 
you know what I mean? Uh, something like that. But it's it's a uh, I think it's a beautiful format. And uh, of course, going back to my heroes or watching, you know, Sonny Rollins and, you know, watching um, even like Kenny Garrett or like somebody, you know, that trio format is like mm-hmm. just one of those beautiful formats that I've always been intrigued with, but I've never recorded with myself. Well, you did a beautiful job in that context, man. It's really cool. The lead track on the new album is called What Day Is It? Which is a question I think most people can relate to when they think back on the lockdown. Tell us about that song. Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely just that funk of waking up and it's Groundhog Day. You know, um, I don't know how I didn't watch Groundhog Day during that whole time, but uh, just that whole, the feeling of, 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 uh, having life feel like it's the same every time and that's like the worst feeling like i said i love traveling getting up being in a new place every day mm-hmm. and the song is just about that you know i tried to provide some uh uh it's really i think of it of like this uh this runway that we're running along and then it's just for us to take off you know what i mean just just a little something for us to get and take off so we can go and explore uh and figure out what day it is <laughs> I guess that's the thing too, you know, while you're there, you, you're literally trying to figure out, okay, I have no idea. Let me look, you know, you have to look on the, uh, like here, you look on the top, on the top right of your apple and see. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's play a little bit of the song. That's Kendrick Scott from his brand new album, Corridors, a track called What Day Is It? Now, one of my favorite songs on the album is a very poignant, reflective track called One Door Closes, Another Opens. Let's talk about that one for a minute, man. Yeah, uh, for me, you know, I this apartment is actually located on Broadway and across the street from me is a uh, city of D. And so throughout the whole pandemic, <clears throat> the city in D was lit up with ambulance sounds. And uh, every time I looked over there or was in this room trying to come into my quiet space to meditate um, uh, musically, I would hear these sirens. And I just thought about, you know, all the people that were passing away during the time and the people, the young people that were being born. And I said, you know what, I have to honor both of those uh uh, both of those uh, people um, and and this connection that they have, this uh, this bittersweet connection that they have. So that piece is about that. I think Walter and, and Ruben uh, got to the music uh, in a way that was very beautiful. Definitely. Let's play a little bit of that. That's Kendrick Scott. One door closes, another opens uh, from his new Blue Note album, Corridors. I feel that the album is such a very personal statement, but you included a track written by the great Bobby Hutcherson called Isn't This My Sound Around Me? Tell us about that and how it came about. Yeah, so I've been listening to that uh, the duo record with Bobby and McCoy on Blue Note. And, you know, it 
to be honest with you, one of the songs that I wrote, one of the pieces that I wrote, I didn't like it. And I was like, you know what? I don't really like this. I'm going to use something that's just as beautiful or, or even more beautiful, excuse me, than what I wrote. And uh, there it is. There's so many songs from the masters that are uh, just sitting here for us to play. And so, you know what? I remember uh, one of my actually fondest memories is Blue Note. Uh, was it Blue Note 80? Where we were in the Kennedy Center. When was mm -hmm. that? Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. Blue Note 80. 70, 75th, maybe. One of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were, when we were in the Kennedy Center watching Bobby and McCoy play together. And uh, I just remember that record and, and the theme of, isn't this my sound around me? You know what I mean? That, that <laughs> questioning, you know what I mean? Yeah. The questioning got me. Uh, I remember that and also remember it you know, just this, this, uh, this thing of solitude, um, that got me with the music. And, uh, so I just decided to use that instead of my own piece. And I think it sounds beautiful. It's really beautiful. Let, let's play a little bit of it right now. That's Kendrick Scott performing a Bobby Hutcherson composition from his album Corridors. Kendrick, man, the new album is absolutely exquisite. We're, we're thrilled to release it on Blue Note, and we thank you for entrusting it to us. Oh, thank you for having me. You know, it's a, a complete honor to be on Blue Note. Well, man, it was good to see you, and thanks for joining us today. And we'll see you all next time on First Look. If you enjoyed First Look and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when we post our next video.